To access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. The life cycle of an organism is the journey from the start of its life all the way to the end of its life. In this video, we will look at an insect life cycle. Insects can go through two types of life cycles, complete metamorphosis or incomplete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis consists of four stages. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. The life cycle of a butterfly is an example of complete metamorphosis. This is because the butterfly in its larva stage looks completely different from when it becomes an adult. First, a female butterfly lays eggs on the leaves of a plant. Inside the eggs, a caterpillar begins to grow. This caterpillar is also known as the larva. This is the worm-like creature inside the egg. When the caterpillar is large enough, it leaves the egg by eating it. The caterpillar must eat so it can grow. Once it grows, it splits its skin and sheds a few times. When the caterpillar has fully grown, it forms itself into a pupa. This is a type of vessel in which the caterpillar changes into a butterfly. The pupa of the butterfly is also called a chrysalis. This stage can last for weeks, months or even longer. Inside the pupa, the butterfly is growing parts of its body to become an adult butterfly. These include the legs, wings, eyes, etc. Once the butterfly is ready, the pupa splits open and the butterfly leaves and flies away. Now, the adult butterfly can mate and lay eggs to repeat the cycle. Incomplete metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis consists of three stages. Egg, nymph, adult. The life cycle of a dragonfly is an example of incomplete metamorphosis. This is because the dragonfly in its early stages looks similar to its adult form, but it's much smaller and without wings. First, the female dragonfly lays eggs. The eggs are laid in or near water because they need water to survive. Eggs can also be directly inserted into stalks of plants. The nymph then hatches out of the egg. The nymph grows by feeding on aquatic prey. These include insect larvae, snails, small fish, etc. The nymph is able to breathe underwater through its gills. Most of the dragonfly's life is spent in this nymph stage. It can range from a few months to several years depending on the climate. In warmer climates, it can take a few months and in colder climates, it can take a few years. During this stage, the nymph will molt. This is when it sheds its old skin. The adult dragonfly emerges. It will wait for its body and wings to harden before it can fly. Once it's able to fly, the dragonfly begins hunting for food and will mate and lay eggs to repeat this cycle.